Hi, this is Paula from CHE. Today we have an interview with three people who are involved in the Shurikan Public Library project. You'll hear from Municipal Councilor Alfred Poirier, from Kristen Muntz, who is a member of Community Matters, and Monique Leblon Delaney, President of the Conseil des Salles de Chetican, the Arts Council. They give us more details about where the project is at right now. Here's our conversation. I joined um, the Community Matters board uh, about a year ago or so. And uh, when I first joined the board, one of my first ideas or first first wishes was to be able to work towards getting a library here uh, in, in Shetta Camp. And uh, Alfred was attending that meeting as well and uh, expressed uh, my desire to do that. And uh, we've been working fairly closely for the last year and a half. And uh, it's just been wonderful. And also working with Monique and um, the Conseil des Arts. It's great to work with community partners because um, of course they've been working for a long time to get the library here in Shetta Camp as well. My mother instilled in me from a very early age a, a love of uh, learning of books and of libraries. So it's a it's a real privilege to be able to be a part of this of this group to be able to make um, a library be able to happen here in Shetta Camp. Okay, well, uh, you know, after uh, being in council for seven or eight years, you know, the attention of libraries were across the county and uh, after serious talk about uh, Shetta Camp, etc, you know, and uh, so it, it was my best interest for the community, I would say. Then at that point, we realized that uh, the community itself, or the county itself, I should say, I think would have room for another library with, uh, you know, financially with the Eastern Library, etc. So this is when I started talking uh, with uh, Kristen, and then we started through with uh, Monique and Cyril, and uh, you know, then here we are all together and ready to move on and hopefully have a library in the next two, three months. You know, maybe sooner, the sooner the better, but it's uh, that's where it stands and I'm so happy about it. Hello, um, I'm here as the President de, du Conseil des Arts de Chetican. And um, it, it's, it, since we've started speaking about developing the Quartier Culturel, for us, it was going to be the hub of the community, the place where the community can come together to uh, assemble either as uh, family reunions or as conferences or uh, weddings so that we could get together. We thought it would be a great, uh, a great additional uh, opportunity if we could host a library. So as a mother, it's always been important to me because I would bring my children to Le Bibliobus or I would bring them to saint joseph du Moine, and that would give us maybe, you know, 10 minutes every two weeks, which wasn't sufficient for me because coming from away as well, I'm used to every Saturday going to the library with my, my mother and spending time browsing through books. And it's very difficult to browse when you're in a teeny tiny bus. So it is very important for a community to, to have a library. And uh, as member of Le Conseil des Arts, for us, what's important because Le Quartier Culturel isn't finished, it's very important that the library lands in Shetty Camp as soon as possible. And we're very happy that this project is going forward. Okay, so that is my next question. Is the project going forward? And if so, when? Um, would Alfred know? When, uh, well, I tell you what, we have tomorrow, uh, we'll be talking about it. And then on April the 1st, I guess it's our monthly meeting. And we had the COW meeting and the recommendations by all councillors and the CAO was that we approve the library in Shadikam. So that's the only, that's the last step that we have to do in order to be officially uh, going with the library in Shadikam. I talked with the CAO, uh, Laura Emery, and uh, they're starting doing some uh, planning in the back, you know, and she, Talk to Angus Lefort, you know, the four pool, the four is uh, the pirate underneath, you know, and there it's uh, accessible. And uh, so it's all, you know, there's a lot of parts moving from different groups from, uh, but uh, I think eventually 
in the next uh, two weeks after it's been approved officially by the, the, the council, the municipality, then we will move on and uh, hopefully get it sooner than later, you know. Is that where it's at right now? It The only thing missing before going forward is the approval of, of council? That's right. And then we have money, you know, like the library uh, has money put aside for us, you know, for the county and for the Shedekam Library. Also, uh, the, library, the, the municipality has agreed to do some renovations, you know, whatever would be needed, you know, in order to accommodate, you know, the library and uh, all the necessities for, for us to keep moving and have it, uh, uh, you know, approved and uh, accessible to everybody. So Monique, is the library going to be at the Conseil des Arts? At the moment, the library is going at La Pirogue and, and that's all. That's all we can say for now. The school is not open to the public because of uh, COVID. So uh, this is the best solution at this moment. But is it envisioned for the future that it's going to be at the Quartier Culturel? It is a possibility. We can't confirm anything. Um, what we appreciate with this project is that there is an openness. There is, seems to be a bit of flexibility, but time will tell and these decisions will take place uh, when the time has arrived. Kristen, you, so you've been working on it for over a year. Could you tell me a little bit about the process since the beginning? Well, I, like I mentioned, um, uh, Alfred and I have been in close contact. I would call him every two or three weeks and get an update as to where um, the status was in terms of funding, in terms of feasibility um, uh, for place, um, and also in terms of where Laura Emery is in this, because she's a very important part of this as the CAO for Eastern County Library Division. Um, we, you know, we had been talking, she had been, he had been talking to her, and um, I believe also the Conseil des Arts had also been speaking to her, but, uh, you know, she is the one who would approve um, the site, um, and she would also um, be a part of the approval process in terms of budget as well, so, um, and in terms of, of my role, um, it was just very important to me to be able to confirm to, uh, to confer back and forth with Alfred um, as to what was happening and, um, and where it was going to happen and the timeline as well, because we're all very anxious to get a library and it's been in the works for a very long time. So it's like I said, it's been a process, but a very worthwhile one. And we're just glad that it's, it's, it's landing. Like Monique said, you know, landing here now, who knows, you know, in the future, but it's, it's wonderful to have a space and it's wonderful to see it happening in the near future. So what can we expect to see at the library besides, I imagine, books? What language is it going to be? Are there going to be, for example, DVDs or audio books? Who could answer that for me? Well, I'll, uh, I tell you what, I can give you uh, a little bit of information. And uh, like we had a conversation yesterday, I'm not really an expert, you know, into uh, libraries, etc. But my main concern was that uh, we had, uh, you know, the library would be bilingual so that uh, we would have French and we would have English all join in together in the same library. And uh, then it would be, uh, you know, uh, get get together and uh, move on. As far as the, the facility itself, what it will be bringing, I, uh, maybe the, the uh, Christian and uh, Monique could had, but myself, I'm very limited on the information. Uh, basically, my point was to get it through, to get the money in line, to get all the municipality in line, to get, you know, all my ducks, uh, in line so that we could it, it could be a, a success and it would be moving. Another thing that I would like to add is that uh, you know we it, it could have went to the Quartier Culturel, but as we know, the Quartier Culturel at this time is not finished, and there's an agreement where we're 
going to go. So if something happens, you know, not uh, the Quartier Culturel, and they're moving along with their uh, project, well, maybe they will have enough, uh, you know, uh, groups or businesses or whatever in the Quartier that they don't need the library. At the same time, if they do need the library and we can be part of it, you know, uh, the other tenant agree that uh, there would be no problem if we move away from their facility to the Quartier. The only thing my concern is, as always, is the size of the building or the, not the building, but the, the our uh, space area, and also if it's uh, the, the size and of course the, the rent, how much we can pay, etc. Because you know, a library like this are very, we get uh, money from the provincial government and the uh, municipalities, but the uh, funds are sometimes very limited. So uh, that's, uh, that's the reality about that. But I think what's, uh, I really appreciate is that uh, all, everybody that I did talk with Manek, with Christian, with the, the, the other 10, everybody seems their main purpose is to get the library here. And then after we'll work together to get it going and ma make it uh, useful to all the people in Chedigan. And area, Marguerite, Cyril del Duen, Granite Tank, Pleasant Bay, Miko, because everybody's coming down here. One of the things that I'd like to say about a library, too, is that um, with Provincial Library, there's over 20,000 books and at, at, at audiobooks, ebooks, CDs, materials um, and, that are available. So uh, in any library, any branch, because we are going to be a branch of the provincial system of the Eastern County Library Division. So any branch would have access to all this. We'd have the, the computers um, and all of the resources available to this. And I think the important thing to add is that it would be, um, because this is a bilingual, but it is a multilingual community, but bilingual to have resources and books in both French and English and also um, in other languages as well. So, and that, and that is available throughout Nova Scotia. And so looking forward to that, certainly to have access to all these, these wonderful resources. And the, also the ability to be able not only to go in and choose a book, but to be able to go online because with your library card, you have access to anything, right? So you can order anything. Um, and like I said, whether it be ebook, whether it be audiobook, whether it be CD or access to computers. And then the other thing too is about having this as a community hub. Uh, the lot, we know about the library, of course, close to us in Marguerite. It's a beautiful, beautiful space. And it's not that large, but it's incredible what you can do with a small space. And, um, and so to be able to have that vision, hopefully, of having a space where people can sit um, and read or whether they can, they can look at browse books or um, whether they can meet in, in groups um, and children's groups, adult groups, book clubs, um, and various community activities. So I'm um, seeing it as a community hub too. Um, and like I say, the Laura Marguerite Library is a perfect example of that. So it's our hope by working with Laura Emery and of course with our municipal counselor and, and um, Manuk and Manik and other community members, because we are community partners here. We are all community partners working with the provincial library system to be able to make this happen in Shetty Camp. Thank you. Um, let's talk about funding. Alfred, you've mentioned uh, there, that there's some funding coming from the municipal government. There's also the province. Do you have any numbers? Uh, to answer your question, good question, Paula. Uh, at this point, I would rather, you know, wait till April 1st, you know, after a monthly meeting that uh, everything has been accepted and, uh, uh, you know, I could give you figures and uh, et cetera. But my main... <clears throat> My main, my main answer to you is that it's basically Eastern planning, Eastern planning, Eastern library, and uh, the municipality providing the money. And of course, the Eastern library 
they have money coming from the provincial government. But uh, I have the numbers, you know, like for what is being put in, but I would rather wait and, you know, once we have our every, <clears throat> you know, uh, numbers and uh, et cetera, accepted before, uh, you know, I would go public with it. You can give me an approximation, at least from the municipality? From the municipality, what we, uh, we are, I tell you what, there's two divisions. There's the division to provide the, the equipment, provide the books, provide the, uh, exactly what uh, my friend Christian said. And then at the same time, it's the municipality that will be taking care of the renovations, you know, or, uh, you know, like uh, make sure that it's accessible, but I think it's already there. But, uh, you know, like, uh, if there's any renovations to do in the building, et cetera, the municipality will be looking after it. So, I, you know, like the figures, uh, uh, you know, from the library are already there, but the municipality, there's, they're not there yet for what it would cost, but uh, I would rather keep that for the next time around. Okay. Um, Monique, is the Conseil des Arts involved financially? At this moment, no, we have no financial obligation or we're not obliged. What is the involvement of the Conseil de Sa in, in the project? Is it um, advocacy? Uh, you're part of the talks. Are you going to take care of the Francophone side? Could you tell me more about that? Well, the library will be managed by uh, Laura Emery, the staff of Eastern Counties Libraries. That's, they are the experts, they know what they're doing. They will design and put in the furniture and the books and the bookcases and all of the technical equipment. Le Conseil des Arts would be a partner because everyone knows, or at least from my, the bottom of my heart with what I know is literacy is, is very closely, um, intertwined with the development of the culture of a community and the development of the, the arts and the culture. So when you look at a book, it's because you are admiring the, the artistry of writing and the visual. So this is how I see that the Arts Council would marry well with a library coming into the community. Uh, we're also concerned with when you go to libraries in all over the, the Atlantic provinces, we do wanna make sure that there is more representation of all the cultures that are present in our community. And in our community, we have a lot of Acadian uh, population. So it would be nice if we had <coughs> a quarter shelf of uh, French books. It would be nice to see that there would be people who can um, help a, per, a patron come in and choose a book and choose a book according to their interests and their abilities. So this is what we don't have now. And it, this is not what the Conseil des Arts is going to do, but this is what we're advocating for, is for uh, books to be available for all kinds of people in multi-language, because we know that we are a multi-ethnical uh, community at this time. All I, if I may, I, uh, I missed uh, uh, with our conversation yesterday, uh, I never talked to uh, uh, Monique and uh, Kristen, is that uh, there's also put in into the Eastern Library, there is money coming from the French uh, department, you know, the province. So that's uh, the bound that's uh, is part of it. So uh, it will be uh, it will be looked after to make sure that we have you know we have a balance of book and the French books. You know we're French community. We want to make sure that everybody is treated fairly. And at the end of our conversation yesterday, I think we we all agreed that uh, you know. Uh, we have the three of us together. Why don't we just watch as we move along? And then when it comes in, and if, uh, for example, we go there, the three of us, and not especially me, but the others that know a little bit about libraries, etc., feel maybe there's something that should be done or, you know, change or etc. with the, the CAO, of course, 
I think we, it would be a good idea so that we make sure that we have everybody's happy. And it's, I'm so happy that we're talking on the same wavelength right now. So that's, it, it would be all good, hopefully. And it's, it, it seems to be, we're on the right track with the French, English, et cetera, which is really totally great. And uh, I'm amazed and I appreciate that very much. What is the timeline? So it's going to go through council on April 1st. When would, could people expect to have the library open to the public? About. Uh, uh, well, I tell you what, we're having our meeting the 1st of April. We put it, let's say we start, uh, you know, with it. Then there's something new orders are put in etc. You know, sometimes you say, let's say a month, month and a half, two months, but it can be more than that. It can be less. Than. It is so very hard. You know, like it's like any construction or anything like this. It's very seldom that you can really point a date and say, look, on the May 1st, it will be ready and, every, you know, and everything. So it will be, uh, uh, I tell you what, they're, they're working behind the scene right now. And uh, hopefully uh, we're gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be pushing them so that we move forward, you know, very fast and uh, the faster the better because, uh, we, you know, we can drag with it because we've been waiting for so long and we gotta move on. One of the things that I would add as far as moving along is that um, there was a survey that was done and it was done on, on Facebook and it was done in both French and English. And um, so it's a very important part of the process to be able to ask the community what they would like to have in a library. And uh, so, um, and from what uh, my understanding is and Alfred can uh, confirm this that there were over 250 responses and, uh, and they were all very favorable responses about uh, about the about the library, about the about having a library here in Shetakan, and uh, both young and old um, answered, and uh, people from both the English and um, French communities, as as well as our our multi ethnic community as well answered, and so it's uh, it's just wonderful to see that response, and and if I might add that. Um, you know, the um, Laura Emery is the one who is obviously overseeing this as far as the, the, the resources and working together with Alfred and, and but, but we are acting as a community partner in this. So, um, and there will be an ongoing consultation um, with Alfred and with community and looking at the surveys as to, as to what the community wants, but, um, and also working with Conseil des Arts and people like us to be able to understand more clearly, because of course, that's what they do with their, their various libraries that they that make up the provincial library system. Is there something that somebody would like to add? Uh, Paul, if I may, I would like to say a few words in French, you know. Uh, <clears throat> J'aimerais euh, premièrement de remercier tous ceux qui ont rempli le cellulaire, le, le, de quoi ce que je veux dire, le survey pour euh, la bibliothèque. Ça, euh, ce qui s'est passé euh, les dernières années, on essayait d'avancer et tout ça. Mais maintenant, je crois qu'avec euh, l'aide de, euh, de le Eastern Library puis la municipalité, euh, je crois que ça va s'avancer puis on pourra avoir notre euh, bibliothèque ici à Chadican et je suis très content qu'on a le Conseil des Arts, Monique et Cyril avec nous autres et aussi Christian qui est aussi pour le Community Matters. Ça fait que je crois qu'on voit qu'on est un groupe euh, pas mal ensemble et que ça veut dire que c'est bon pour la taille de la bibliothèque mais aussi l'intérêt de la communauté. Ça fait que je suis sûr, merci beaucoup pour euh, l'appui. Puis euh, si vous avez des questions, ne euh, soyez pas gêné de, de me contacter, il n'y a, a pas de problème. Mon numéro, c'est 224-5817. C'est un nouveau numéro, 5817. Ça fait que, saying this, I want to thank everybody that has been involved in the surveys, etc. And also, uh, I want to make sure that everybody has my number because 
the last two months, I think they gave me three numbers from the municipality. So this one is for real, I hope. The 224-5817. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Monique? Oui. Um, I also had data from the survey we passed along uh, last year. Uh, the consultant shared with me that um, uh, we had about 100, 192 people answer the survey, and it was really what what did we want in the quartier culturel? And at that time, this was a year ago. You have to, you know, things are happening very quickly. Years are going by. A year ago. Uh, they said that, yes, a library was something that they were looking for in our community. We understand that it's going to La Pirogue. But other in, interesting data is 61% uh, of the people said that they would visit a library at least once a month. And 20% had said that they would visit at least once a week. So these are, these are great numbers of people who already are missing the routine of being able to go to a library, browse, select books, and uh, and bring you know and be able to to borrow books and media to bring home and to consult, um, and that's that's it. That's all I had to add. So yes, it is important that the library comes from different surveys that have been circulating. I just wanted to add that um, um, a library is a place for everyone and from every walk of life for every age. And uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's so exciting to, to, to have, it, have it come here and uh, really looking forward to seeing anywhere from, from babies up to, to age 100, you know, to be able to access this library because literally it's gonna be, it's gonna be something for everyone. I think it'll just give that. So it's, 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 just, it's just fabulous to see it, it actually happening. You just heard from Kristen Muntz, who is a member of Community Matters, from Municipal Councilor Alfred Poirier, and from Conseil des Arts President Monique Leblanc-Delaney, as they told us about the Sherikam Library Project. Thanks for watching.